it's not all about the the rock and the punk and the you know pop music whatever you have to be classy sometimes think about like symphonies and orchestra music yeah i've conducted here and there i've done some conducting work a long time ago um not big orchestras but smaller smaller groups it's an experience people tend to respect you waving that stick around. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com and today we're going to finish up our Hyper-V automation script by showing you how we're going to actually use it to make a VM we can use to test autopilot and engine enrollment with. They generally do not let you keep the conducting stick. Okay, so last time we got our script together and we went ahead and created our Hyper-V disk image, we put that in uh, templates and we have GM W1123H2. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how we're gonna use the script to take the disk image and create a VM on the fly. Um, so I went ahead and put the script in C. I just put it right here in the root, create VM. Okay, you can, you can put it anywhere. You can put it in system 32 to just call it. Really doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna open PowerShell. And I'm gonna call C, create VM, and let's pass the parameters in. So the VM name, I'm gonna call it autopilot VM, um, call it 2024 version. Now, remember that the script knows they're all called GM dash. Oh, I don't know why I did that. So all you have to do is go to templates. So we don't need GM dash, we would just need W11 dash 23H2. So W11 dash 23H2 and CPU count, we're just gonna say four. So let's let that run. What I'm gonna do, so what it's gonna do next, just talking about it, it's gonna make a copy of this, but it's gonna rename it. It's gonna take the name I gave the VM to name the copy of the disk. So I don't end up with uh, a bunch of duplicates. Right, and then it's gonna take that, it's gonna take all the other settings, um, you know, the, the RAM I have, turning the dynamic memory off, the TPM setup, and it's gonna automate that, and I'm gonna end up with uh, the VM here when that's done running. Okay, so it looks like my connection to, connection to this, this box froze up, so I kept hitting enter for a while, but yeah, it just, once it caught up, the machine was here. So it took, uh, probably took, I mean, it was under 30 seconds to create the VM and, and now it's there, right? Um, so autopilot VM 2024, let's go ahead and connect to it and let's see what the experience is. So generally what you're gonna see is you're gonna see the same experience you would have when we first built the VM because this is a clean machine. Um, you know, so it should just take us right to Windows 11 out of box experience. All right, here we go normal boot up and it's exactly where we want it to be all right so let's take a look and uh see if er all our customizations are still there so the first thing i'm going to do is let's do a get um oh, actually let me go over to powershell and let's run a get local user command and you can see there's our local admin account that we created so my, my built-in admin account is there and it's enabled so uh, that looks great. Um, if I open the Explorer, we should see some of the files I copied over there. So I'm generally looking for, in this case, I think PS Tools is the big one. So there's PS Tools. So I'm all set to go. If I brought over the dummy data, um, things like that, that would all be here. Um, and now, of course, the you know what we want is we want to quickly be able to boot this VM up and put it in autopilot. So all we would have to do, because we've already installed our modules, is do get um, Windows Autopilot Info, group tag, you can apply a quick group tag, and then you can hit the online switch. And because we installed the Windows Autopilot Intune module, it should just prompt us for um, a graph sign-in. And there you go. So literally just by running this command, and you can pick different versions. So if I wanted to make another one, I could just keep going, VM name. If I want to make a machine for, uh, oh, that's not create VM. Create VM if I want to do one for, you know, app testing uh, version, maybe I want to do a few. So I want to do W11, 22, H2, 
um, CPU count, that's going to be eight. Um, so, so whatever you want, all you have to do is run that script and, you know, build the VM, you know, 30 seconds, depending on your system, it could be up to a minute. Um, but it saves you the trouble of mounting the ISO every time. And, and if you do a lot of Intune autopilot testing, you have these pieces already baked in, which is really nice. So I could just go ahead and, um, show you how easy it is. So I'm going to sign into my Steve capacity tenant. and watch it begin to put itself in autopilot. And look at that, it's already going. All right, well, that wraps up this, uh, I guess a three part series on Hyper-V. So hopefully it, it helps. I'll still leave the links below if you wanna recreate the process. Uh, for me, it's been invaluable. Um, can't believe I waited this long to uh, make a series on it. But yeah, just being able to quickly spin up VMs, change the version of Windows as you need, um, definitely a powerful tool. So let me know if you're going to use this, if you have something similar, what your thoughts are, hop in the discord and you know, we can chat about it later. Five, four, three.